Hey, a lot of things about Tony Gwynn, all the numbers, you know, eight-time batting champion, best year, he had 394, that's when people were comparing him to Ted Williams, 16 times in his 20 years, he was an all-star, and it goes on and on and on, but more than that, he was a sweetheart of the guy. He was also family, I mean, after all, his brother Chris played for the Dodgers, and his son Tony Jr. played for the Dodgers. But with all the numbers and all the plaudits given to Tony Gwynn, the thing I would remember the most, his smile. There are those who smile and get rid of it right away. There are those who smile and then it kind of drips off their face. And then there are those rare ones who will smile and it will just stay in the air and make you feel better. And that was Tony Gwynn. I used to love to tease him. We knew he was a brilliant hitter. But I would say to him, you know, Tony, I've been giving him a lot of thought. Uh, you ought to learn to bunt. And he would start laughing, and his whole body would shake. Tears would fill his eyes. And I would always leave him feeling a lot better than before I had met him that night. Tony Gwynn, one of the really special people. Great player, but more than that, a wonderful human being. Hell. Well said, Vin. Tony Gwynn was an amazing baseball player that played for the San Diego Padres. Uh, 1981, or 1982 to 2001, his whole career with the Padres. Today is March 11th. We are in Poway, California. Uh, what looks like a baseball field behind me was once a baseball field. Now it's used for water retention up here. Um, I thought it'd be good to come out here. I've wanted to come out here for a while and see the memorial to Tony Gwynn. They actually put a statue here with all his stats. Um, I grew up in Southern California, always uh, in my younger days was a Padre fan, then moved up to LA and have been a Dodger fan ever since. Always a Tony Gwynn fan. Uh, I have a Tony Gwynn game used glove uh, signed by him that I was trying to find for this video but I couldn't find. So we're going to go over and check out Tony's statue. Uh, fun fact about Tony too, Pedro Martinez the pitcher if you know anything about baseball, never struck out Tony Gwynn. And I think he went. Uh, he batted against him 45 times. One of the greatest pitchers too in history. Boston Red Sox, New York Yankees, and with spring training coming up, I thought this would be a good place to remember one of the greats. So let's go check it out. Oh yeah, if you are coming to Lake Pow Poway to see it, it does cost ten dollars to get in here if you're not a resident. So as you can see, there's this old ball field here. You've got the two little dugouts here. But yeah, look at oh, they even got the. Uh, in the distance out there. I'll zoom in on that. The scoreboard's still there. Looks like, uh, can't tell if it was an automated scoreboard or not, but that's pretty neat. Head over here. Before we go and see the Tony Gwynn statue, there's some loud mouse over there right now, so I just wanted to wait. Lots of water still from the rain. Oh yeah, you can go in here, cool. I, of course, am wearing my shoes of choice. Slippers, as always, but... I just want to check this out. Okay, manage my way. That is some deep water. Okay, I made it. Look, soaking. Fast times at Ridgemont High Vibes at the old ballpark. In the dugout scene, if you know what I mean. Would have been right here, watching a game. How fun. I played baseball when I was younger. I was a pitcher. I was decent. I couldn't hit for squat. But yeah, here we are, Lake Poway. So there is the shadow of the man, the myth. Tony Gwynn, it's a good looking statue too. Padres number 19. Left-handed, played right field. Passed away in 2004 at the young age of 54 of uh, salivary, salivary, I think I'm saying that right, gland tumor. Such a shame for such an iconic man. Such a nice man too, as Vin Scully said. So here are some of the donors that helped put this together. Oh, 2014, Tony Gwynn, yeah. 54 years old. 
was known as Mr. Padre. He had in his debut, San Diego State University, drafted in 81 by the uh, Padres. National record, most consecutive seasons, batting 300, became the 22nd player to reach 3,000 hit. Five-time gold glove, 15 time to the All-Star team. Retired from baseball in 2001 and went to, back to SDSU where he was the head coach. During his career, Wynn was recognized by Major League Baseball for its sportsmanship and humanitarian spirit. He could have lived anywhere, but he loved Poway, saying, It's close to the city, but it's in the country, and the people are friendly. Along with his wife, Alicia, kids, and ultimately his grandchildren, Tony was proud to call Poway his home. And Poway will be ever proud that he was one of us. So. I believe that's his granddaughter. Yeah, and look at, got the glove in the back pocket. Good looking statue. Nice guy too. His son, Tony Gwynn Jr. played for the Dodgers. Chris Gwynn, his brother. Picks him very well. Rest in peace, Tony Gwynn. You are missed. One more thing as you enter Lake Poway, I was gonna show you over here is where you pay your $10 to come in if you're a non-Poway resident. And directly from there, you just make the first right. You see the playground, restrooms, and the statue is directly behind the restrooms. So we got a little bit of time. I've never seen Lake Poway. Maybe I have, just too young to remember. Let's go see that real quick. This pavilion is dedicated to the mayor Clyde Rex Road, December 1930 to April 12, 1982, first mayor of Poway, May 7th, 1983. Lots of places that you can come up here to that are um, available for picnicking, but check this out. This is beautiful. I might have to come back. There's some boats for rent down there. It's not that big of a lake. I thought it would be a lot bigger. See the dam right there? wall off in the distance do some fishing if you'd like got a couple boats out there just enjoying the day now i get it tony gwynn now i know why you liked it here so much oh wow that water is very clear have you ever seen my lake elsinore video it does not look like that you most likely can eat the fish out of this one without getting stomach aches. Yeah, just got a couple uh, boats out there. Gonna have to find out how much that costs to rent a boat. Even if you're not fishing, just to go explore. Awesome. Sorry, this guy, he's waiting right here. Most likely waiting for them to catch some fish and then he'll make his move. Hey, buddy. My dog, uh, Kopitar, used to get, uh, what is it? These, these egrets would land, or cranes, they'd land by him and just torment him because he couldn't get outside. And there was one that would always come, it was about four feet tall. But pretty bird. All right, I'm gonna go check out the water now. Oh, he's making his move. Gonna get a little snack, he saw something. He's going to get a better look. I think that guy's waiting to go home, but who knows how long he's been there for. Yeah, so it's pretty clear here. I'm going to head out to the dock real quick. Okay, so we made our way all the way out to the end of uh, Lake Poway here. As you can see down there, well, I don't know if you can see, it's not that deep, probably only about eight feet, 10 feet. Nice day though, it looks like an easy hike all the way around and I think you can cross over there. So, yeah. I mean, if you're gonna spend a day out here, I guess the 10 bucks is worth it. Just coming in, I mean, I wanted to see the statue anyway, so that was cool, but anyways. Whoa, there's a house of some sort up there. Those people got the best view. 
Well, thanks again for watching as always. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and if you have subscribed, as always, thanks again. From Lake Poway, remembering Tony Gwynn, a true legend and just an all around nice guy. So, just climbed up this mountain. I took the hard way, of course, like I always like to. But, yeah. See you next time. Great one yesterday. Tony Gwynn passing away, battling with cancer for years. And what a player and man, all by all accounts, Tony Gwynn was. Yeah, Mr. Parker is the way to put it. He could be Mr. San Diego, too. And truly one of the finer human beings, but what a pure hitter watching this guy. I was lucky enough to be able to play with him against him. I'm sure I think he worked too last. Yeah. But what an incredible hitter. A couple first, when I got the chance to sign with the Padres and go over there, he, he came over and he would talk behind the cage. He treated me just as if I was another 300 hitter, which I wasn't. But he had a wonderful way of explaining the game and had such an enthusiasm for the game. I really wanted other people that were in uniform to know how much he appreciated them and how much he loved playing the game and being around it. He went, uh, absolutely will be missed. Charles Barkley was the round, 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 round of rebound that might have been the round, round of hit because he can swing the bat from day one. He could steal some bases too. Yes, he could. He ran very well. He played a 19. Played a great right field. He would charge the ball as well as anybody.